Hello and welcome back to the channel and I am a genius. Look at that. Kylian Mbappe is no longer a Paris Saint-Germain player. He's also not a Chelsea player. He's now a Barcelona player. Um, just to clear up, I did try that with Real Madrid. Madrid didn't want him, even for free. So yeah, he plays for Barcelona now. We got that Romero guy in. He was skinny, anorexic, no number. I released him. He's just pretend the Barcelona bought him for 220 million. That's how much we spunked on it. Anyway, we managed it. Now, we have to have a quick looksy looksy at our transfer list, as we always do. Here's all the blocked players, and we're going to get to the transfer list. Only player on the transfer list currently is Eberetche Eze. Um, he's not done as much as I was hoping. We've got Callum Hudson Adoy back. See what offers we can get. On loan, Oliver Batista Meyer. I'll talk about him. Well, actually, no, I won't talk about him more later. I'll talk about him now. We didn't have him last year, but I have done a Chelsea and gone for what we do every once in a while is buy a couple of random players that barely anyone's ever heard of. Kennedy, Zappacosta, players like that. And maybe some of them will be good. Um, I didn't scout them at all. I just picked random people. This guy had Batista in his name. Yes, please. However, he's only 78 rated, so we're going to let him go out on loan for this year. Tavares, hopefully, back out on loan. Here's another one. Bernardo Rosa. Really bad him. Uh, he's going out on loan. Andrin on loan. Agliardi. Araujo. Bentley. And Victor Crespo. Uh, we haven't received any offers yet. This was me. See, look, I tried to do it with Dedic. 100 million and Mbappe, and they didn't want that. Mad. Uh, so, yeah, we bought him in, and then we sacked him off. Now, oh look, yeah, here he is. Here he is in the Barcelona kit. There he is, Mbappe. He's 26, which is awful, but oh well, go away. Two centre-back options, Benoit Baguishil and Santiago Castillo. Don't 100% know if we actually need a new centre-back yet, so we might not go for either of them. But, attacking options. We always need new attacking options, apparently. With Eze possibly leaving, and also Patrick Harper already having left the club, we need a new backup striker. I know none of these people are actually strikers, but that is what I would transition them to be. We've got Rafinha, 29, highest rated of the lot, 87 overall. Um, the Brazilian looks all right. Pretty expensive, though, and, of course, the age is up there. Noah Lang, unfortunately, is at Tottenham. I would have gone for Noah Lang if he wasn't as, at Tottenham, but he is. So, yeah, that's a shame. So, it's really down to Rafinha or Adil Alcic. Maybe that's how you say it. He is French. He can play cam, centre mid, left mid. Uh, will transition to also be able to play striker, centre forward type thing. He's got outside of the foot shot and he's only 23 years of age while being 81 overall. Now, I know that is a lot less than Patrick Harper was. But as stated before, he felt awful to play within game. And no matter how high I made his finishing, he was, he was always just really bad at it. So, yeah, well, I mean, we'll have a look at him. Uh, Patrick Harper uh, will show I actually I accepted an offer last season because I forgot I was doing a bloody career mode videos but I accepted an offer from Inter Milan uh, for Patrick Harper uh, so he's there we'll keep tabs on him you know uh, if he does well if he gets really high rated then maybe we'll buy him back you know there's a there's a little thing that we can do buy Patrick Harper back if we ever need to but for now it's all about Alcic or Rafinha. We're not actually going to do the whole of, Jul of this transfer window in one video like we have been for the last two seasons. We're going to go up to the end of July because I actually want to play that game against West Ham. We've got an offer for Marvin Bosch, a uh, loan to buy, which I'm actually going to reject because I want Marvin Bosch to stay in the team this year, even though I probably did accidentally put him on the loan list because uh, I'm an idiot. Whoa, interesting Castillo. How hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Sociedad and Leipzig. Okay, well, let's hope we don't have to go for Castillo because someone else is going to get him. Man United, why? I can't sell him to a rival team. I can't. Well, at least a, a big rival team like Manchester United. I can't sell him to Man United. It just can't happen. Watford want Edson Araujo on a loan to buy. Why always loan to buy? Just loan him normally, you bastards. You're not having him on a loan to buy, lads. It's just not happening. Um, we'll carry on a literal sec millisecond before we get the exact same offer from the blue side of Manchester, Ebrachia, eh? Same argument as what I had for United. Not happening. Um, 
We've agreed, though. Well, hey, with Watford. Um, oh, hello. Bernardo Silva and 14 million for Umberto Serra. No, thank you. Serra is still 22. He's uh, 87 rated still. He did actually go up in a rating last season, which is interesting. I thought he would. He didn't. Um, I, honestly, maybe I'll do a bit more of... See, I don't want no to buy. I don't want him to go immediately. He isn't, he's never going to get into the first team, though, Bernardo Rosa. He does have a face scan, though, I'm pretty sure. So we've got, we've got that, at least. He'll be going out on loan. So he's one of the Deadwood ones that came in that was really bad. Um, you know, sometimes it happens. Tiamo Bakayoko, say. I mean, people knew who he was before, but sometimes someone will come in and they'll just do really bad for us. That's just what happens sometimes. There's a load of scout reports here that we can just ignore. And Edson Araujo has gone to Watford. Lovely. We'll carry on. We might get past the end of July, actually. We'll probably just go up to the game. Why another team in England? No, not Liverpool. Even though they actually only came seventh last year, so they probably could do with a bit of Eber at JSA to sort of spice them up. I'm hoping to sell to a team that we aren't going to immediately play. Ah, oh, I was also hoping to sell to a team that exists in real life, though. Fuck it. It can go to Piemonte. It can go to Juventus. We'll probably bloody play Juventus in the Champions League. I've just thought of, but oh well. Uh, they want Tavares on a two-year loan deal. City want him on a two-year loan deal. You know what? It's only a loan. It's only a loan. I can just recall him whenever I want. I'll recall him at the end of this season. This is going to be the last season of Digne. Um Leicester City want Oliver Batista Meyer on a loan deal. Again, he's called Batista. And he's actually pretty decently rated, 78 overall. He's not too far away from sneaking onto our bench. So he's one of the not too bad dead one, wood ones that we got in. Oh, shit. So the, so the end of July is just where the game is. Okay, so we will end this one at the, where the game is. Okay. Oh, shit. Our cheat has been approached. And he's the one that we're probably going to go for. So we'll do that for the end of the video. Shit. Uh, Archie Martin, yeah. Gilbert Shaw, you're all right. Matthews is dead. Jordan Barry is dead. Uh, cool. Yeah, pissed off, would you? Um, I went to Turkey because... I don't know, I just felt I just felt a bit turkey, you know? Oh, Selic Palat is looking okay. Let's find out who has numbers. You don't see ya. Released. You don't see ya. Released. You don't see ya. Released. Does no one have a number? None of them. Unbelievable. This game is so bad. Anyway, we need to get in our, our cheat now. Realistically, I was always going to go for him over Rafinha just because of age and this game being this game. But I wanted Rafinha to be the option there. I wanted to see how highly rated he is because he's actually pretty highly rated. We're just going to pay the release clause. We've got the money. We'll get him in just so that we definitely know that we'll beat Wolves to it. Uh, we'll bang out the release clause. Uh, can we get away with rotation? We're probably actually probably going to get away with less than rotation. Um, with an 81 overall, but we'll get him in four years till he's 28, and then by that time, Patrick Harper will be 26, and uh, we probably would have actually tried to buy him back already before then, so we, we might not need him after that, but yeah, we've got him in. Uh, he'll probably want a bit more than that. Yeah, 84k is fine. I will see uh, Adila Cheech in the team. He was number 17, right? Uh, Harper's already gone up a rating. Jesus, that was a poor idea, wasn't he? He was number 17, I believe, at uh, St. Etienne. What have we given him here? Ah, perfect. Number 17. Exactly what I wanted the game to do. A deal of cheats then. Not the biggest of transfers, but a backup striker. Um, oh, which I should have already started changing into a backup striker, really. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Development plan. Um... How long is this going to take, I wonder? Maybe we'll be buying back Patrick Harper before it even happens. Okay, I think we're going to have to go for centre forward, because 20, 140 weeks, that's like fucking five years. So, actually, it's, I, I don't know how long it is. I don't care. Centre forward is less time, and we'll get to be a playing striker as well. So there you go, Adila Cheech, the only signing made uh, in the first episode. Whether we'll make another one, whether we need a centre back, I don't know. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll be fine. We'll we'll finish this video here on the on the press conference, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one where we play West Ham, and we uh we finish off the uh this uh this transfer window. I want to see if it shows a picture of him. That's Chelsea. There he is, Adil Alchich. Lovely. See you in the next one.